Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 5 is brought to you by exam fee. Now we will study the electrochemical cell. Electrochemical cell is also called galvanic cell or voltaic cell in the name of, in the honor of Volta and Calvin, right? So in this we will be studying the working, we will study the redox couples of this uh, cells. We will also study the standard electrode potential. We will also study cell electromotive force for these kind of cells and we will see how to represent these kind of cells. Right? So we will study five things for this galvanic or voltaic cell. Let's start with the working of galvanic cell. So as I have told this galvanic cell or voltaic cell is nothing but an electrochemical cell. They are electrochemical cells that converts my chemical energy of a spontaneous reaction or spontaneous redox reaction to be specific to electrical energy right this is what i have told this is my spontaneous redox reaction reaction energy will be converted to electrical energy and that's what happened in this uh, electrochemical cell and this galvanic cell is nothing but an electrochemical cell. It is in the name in the honor of uh, Louis, Luigi Galvani and Alexander Volta, right? And they are generally connected by a salt bridge. Daniel cell also, which we just explained, is also a type of uh, galvanic cell. Correct? So the Gibbs free energy of this spontaneous reaction is always negative. And this gives free energy is converted into electric energy. Right? And this electrical energy is used to run the gadgets like laptop, phone, my tube lights, bulbs. Correct? And if you see the reaction here, what happened is this copper, see if you see compare zinc and copper about the reactivity. Zinc is more reactive, so zinc will have tendency to become Zn2 plus. So zinc becomes Zn2 plus. Since zinc is oxidized, copper is reduced. So we have oxidation couple, we have reduction reaction. Right? So they these two happen in two different portions. The same thing as we have seen for Daniel cell. Right? So zinc here, zinc, this is my zinc, and this is my copper. Now zinc, this is zinc, becomes Zn2 plus and it gives two electron here, correct? Zinc becomes Zn2 plus and two electrons since reaction. So what happens is oxidation. This is oxidation. So I told an ox, red cat. Oxidation means anode. So this becomes anode. So obviously this becomes cathode, right? So here, copper sulfate, this copper sulfate, this electron transfers from here to here. You get the electron back. And this copper sulfate will react with the electron to form copper. And this copper is deposited here. So here reduction takes place, right? And since zinc, a lot of Zn2 plus here is a lot of SO4 2 minus is left here. This is left here, these two are left. The difference in charge, the salt bridge helps to neutralize the charge. If you see this is the same uh, animation we saw. This is the flow, the green one is the electron. The electron flows in this from left to right direction, the current flows in the reverse direction, and the excessive Zn plus 2 in the left container, and the excessive SO4 2 minus in the right container get neutralized using salt bridge. That is a typical working of this galvanic cell. So if you see, if you observe that the reaction is happening in two, two different parts, right? This is my oxidation half and this is my reduction half, right? The reaction occurs in two different portions. This is my reduction half, oxidation half. So this reduction half is happening at copper electron. And this oxidation is half is happening in this case in the zinc electron, right? Zinc becomes Zn2 plus, here Cu2 plus becomes copper. 
So these two portions of cell are called half cells. They are called half cells or redox They call half cells or redox So this copper is called reduction half cell because here M reduction is happening. So this is called reduction half cell and this zinc one is called oxidation half cell correct so if you see each of this half cell has a metallic electrode and an electrolyte so each each half cell each half cell each half cell has a metallic electrode dipped in electrolyte solution metallic yeah. so each of this half cell will have a metallic electrode and that will be dipped in electrolyte solution also note that these two half cells are connected by a metallic wire. This is my metallic wire, right? They are connected by a metallic wire and through this metallic wire, I can attach a bulb or a voltmeter or a switch, right? And these electrolytes of these two half cells are connected through a salt bridge, correct? These two half cells are connected by a metallic wire and the electrolytes of these half cells are connected by a salt bridge. And in case where both the uh, electrolytes are, both the metallic electrodes are dipped in the same solution, then salt bridge is not required. Salt bridge not required. Because they are in the same solution, so they can pass the chain ions and it will be neutral anyway. Right? And actually, using these uh, combination of oxidation and reduction half cell, you can create n number of galvanic cells because a galvanic cell is a general term, right? The galvanic or voltaic or electrochemical cell, they are same thing. Correct? Daniel cell is one of the type of galvanic cell. Similarly, you can have n number of types of galvanic cell, galvanic cell, right? Let me explain this. Galvanic or voltaic or electrochemical. They all mean same thing. Now, if we talk about the types of this, Daniel cell is one of the type of galvanic cell. Similarly, you can have n number. There are so many types in the market. There are different uh, implementation of the same concept, right? Of electrochemical cells. Don't get confused because it's galvanic and voltaic. They are just in the name of galvanic and voltaic. They have given this name, this electrochemical cell, right? In fact, voltaic pile is also one example of this electrochemical cell. Just because this electrochemistry is formed by or created by this volta and galvani, they are saying that electrochemical cell is also called voltaic or galvanic cell. Just a name. But actually, there are different types of electrochemical cells. For example, Daniel cell, voltaic pile. There are so many other types in the market. Right? And using two different combinations of uh, redox couples, you can create n number of different types of electrochemical cells. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.